guys. It's Stephanie with another Makeup and Wine Wednesday. Um, today I'm going to do something a little different. As you see, I've already got my makeup done. I actually just got home from work. Um, and I'm going to do probably like a little smash or pass kind of video. Um, dealing with mascaras and things for your eyelashes. But as usual, we're going to start with our wine. And today I have, I'm not sure I've tried this one yet. I just poured it in my glass. It's um, Chateau Alain Summer Wine. It is 13.5% by volume, and I think it runs like on the $10 a bottle. Um, it's a medium sweet. Um, it says grape wine with peach, so we'll see. Um, on another note, please excuse the unmade bed behind me and my husband's dirty um not stand. Like I said, I just got home from work and I haven't had time to deal with all that. So I'm going to start with my wine and taste it. And um, you guys comment, let me know what you're drinking tonight. It's pretty good. You can taste the peach. It's pretty good. Okay. So I struggle with my lashes because I have none. So, um, I just want to talk about some products that I've used that I like or don't like. Um, why I still have them in my vanity, the ones that I don't like, I don't know, but I still do. Um, so we're going to first start with, um, like a higher end one. This one is IT Superhero. It, I don't know if it's IT or IT Cosmetics. Um, this one is like $26. Um, here's your brush. It does work really well. It does have a tendency to be a little clumpy. So that's why I always wear my mascara. Um, so the next one as far as price point is Maybelline Falsies. Um, this one is like, was like my go-to until I found some of these other ones. It's got a really cool brush. It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Too Faced brush. Um, this one is like 10, about 10-ish dollars. So both of these smash, like very good. Okay, so, um, so let's move to, this is an Essence Lash Primer. I've never really used lash primer before. This was $5. I wasn't too impressed. Maybe I'm not 100% versed on how to use it. Um, I felt like I really couldn't tell a big difference. Um, so if I had to say, I would say pass because it's just an extra step and in the morning I don't have time for that. Now, if you guys have used that or used another one and you have something else you want to, like, tell me, like, let me know because I didn't, I wasn't a fan. Um, so then my next one, this was, like, my other go-to freaking love Lash Princess. It's, like, four or five dollars a tube, um... Just a pretty basic brush. Um, love, love, love. Smash. Like, get it? If you want a good mascara on a budget, smash. Um, another one that I have. This one is the Relove by Revolution um, that you can get at Walmart. It's the Power Lash Volume. This one... I didn't love. And I want to say it was like three or four dollars for the tube. So I thought, oh, cheap mascara. Let me try. Like, first of all, the brush is super fat. And then look how clumpy, clumpy it is. So for me, this pass. And then my go to one I use almost every day. This is the e.l.f. Lash and Roll that's um, supposed to be a dupe for a high-end one. Love, love, love. Smash, smash, smash. This one is the Bomb Diggity. Um, it's like $6. It's 
nice brush and it's good formula. You know, most mascaras, when you put them on, they're, even if they don't clump, they're very dry and like crunchy. This, my eyelashes feel like eyelashes. They feel like there's no product on them and I absolutely love it. Um, so I know this was kind of a short video. I just, um, kind of ran out of time this week, had a lot of stuff going on with the kids and I just need to do something, uh, <clears throat> different and fun. And, um, if you guys have a mascara or an eye product that you absolutely like swear by, um, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share me out to all your friends. Um, I really enjoy doing this and, um, you'll have to tell me if you've tried any of these and if any of these are your favorites. Um, and also please guys, I need wine suggestions. I'm running out of suggestions. Um, I have a couple more that I haven't tried, um, stored, but, um, yeah, wine, please hit me up. Let me know. But that is that, and I hope everybody has a great rest of your week, and I can't wait to see you again. Bye!